For those of you that watched yesterday's video, there was a moment I told you you would see today, and that's Garrett handling the pie. Carpet Fest, Carpet Fest, Carpet Fest, Carpet Fest, Carpet Fest. Carpet Fest! It's finally cool enough today where I could actually put this shirt on. I've been wearing a red tank top all day because it's been a little warm, but now it's cool. It's actually about 2 a.m. I'm in my snake room, true to usual Cusco form. Most people, not that there aren't a couple people still out there hanging out, most people have tucked it in for the night, but I feel like we actually need to start at the beginning. Hello! If you watched yesterday's video, then you know today is Carpet Fest here at the Cusco household. And we've got a bunch of guys sitting outside right now. We're just getting warmed up, got the tent set up, moving cars downstairs, and just getting ready in general for the festivities. Look at this. This guy just barely got here, and he's already desecrated my snake room. So Garrett had this crazy idea that new, I should... New sponsorship idea. ...tattoo his logo on my arm, which led to another discussion about auctioning off body parts to be tattooed on by people's logos at the Tinley U.S. Arc auction. How much money would that raise? That would be so good if you were like, okay, shoulder here, this big, whatever it is, you know, tattoo your logo right here. The only thing I said the problem would be, you know, judging by like the Tinley NARBC crowd, somebody would win the auction and then invent a new logo that they wanted tattooed on you. <laughs> So I said, there's got to be a stipulation. It's got to be existing logo. I'm not saying I'm doing this, by the way. Yeah. That's not happening. I'm just, this is we had purely... This, we had this conversation a second ago, and he says, hold on, let me get my camera so we can have this conversation. I said, you realize if you record it for posterity, it's like a 75% more likelihood that this is actually going to happen. <laughs> I mean, the Reach Out Reptiles logo is nice. That looked good right there. Or somewhere else. Circle. Yeah. It'd be perfect. I think so, too. I think it would look good. I'm thinking right here, like between the shoulder blades. That's where I want it. Noah! What? Let's change the subject. So what the do you there. know? I know. Sticks. Sticks? Yeah. What about sticks? That they are many different types of sticks because sticks come from trees and there are many different types of trees. Sticks can be different sizes. They can be sticks still attached to a tree. What can you use sticks for? What can you make out of them? A tree house. Um, a fence. What's this? <laughs> a weapon. <laughs> Show me what you mean. <laughs> great, great Show me how to use it as a weapon. I need a visual reference. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eli. What? what do you know? I know. Monsters. What about monsters? That they are super creepy. They have teeth and some. I saw it with bloody teeth that turned fly and that's what I know. I'm gonna wait until other people get here that weren't here yesterday to, and we'll pick the video back up from there. So after we got the morning pleasantries out of the way, people started to roll up, it started to get real fun. I've not had anything to drink all day, just to be clear. Now, I, don't, I don't know why I feel like I need to express that, but I did express it because I felt like I needed to because I'm 100% sober. Usually I don't do that. You know, big gatherings like this and everybody's drinking, there's a keg and people are hanging out, partying. I usually partake. For some reason this time I didn't feel like it, so I didn't. And I feel great about it because I feel super clear-minded right now. And I've got some things that I feel are very important that I need to say to you guys, especially concerning this day and in this video. So that was another part of the reason I think that I stayed clear-minded because I wanted to be 100% clear and and able to communicate what it is I, I really feel like I have to say today in a, in a manner that comes straight from the heart is not clouded by any kind of contaminants or anything else that's impure to myself. Everybody started to arrive. One of the first people to show up was Mr. Brian Gundy and I wanted to give a big thank you to Brian for helping me to feel confident in, in this community. He was one of the first people that 
I contacted when I moved back from Hawaii and started reaching out to people. He had his phone number right up there on YouTube. He was confident enough to just be like, here, everybody, here's my phone number. If you want to call and talk to me, call and talk to me. And I did just that. And it was from Brian that a lot of this began. He gave me the confidence, like, just put yourself out there a little bit, man. Go ahead. Yeah, start a channel and, and, and reach out to people. It's cool. You can talk to people. People are out there. People are cool. And that, that gave me a lot of the confidence to do what I do today. So to have him show up to the event that we were so graciously asked to host at our house, which I had my own trepidations about. A bunch of people showing up to where my family lives, where, where's our, our safe haven, people I don't necessarily know, which ended up being a really great thing. Everybody was really awesome, everybody was really cool, very respectful, and I, I would be more than willing to host again next year. I also like to give a quick shout out to Brandon for planning all the food and making sure that all the catering happened and, and everything went smoothly. Basically all I had to do was make sure we had a place to do it and he kind of arranged to make sure everybody knew where they needed to go. And Brandy just, he brought the party too. So Brandon, thank you. Mr. Bolter for against all odds making it down and bringing us that delicious food as well. Always good to see you. I'd like to thank my new friend Terry who I had a very great conversation with about children and, and life and, and teaching people. Terry brought us a little box turtle who's going to be part of the educational program now. Thank you Terry. Terry works with the uh, Northern California Herb Society where I've been invited to speak at the end of December. Very honored to be able to come up there and, and join you folks for that coming up here at the end of this year. For those of you that watched yesterday's video, there was a moment I told you you would see today, and that's Garrett handling the pie. He did an impressive job. He gave a talk to everybody about what he was about to do. He was going to bring the girl out, and he asked that if something went wrong, if he got bit, everybody that was filming with their cell phones, if they would please not share it, just to keep the experience as positive as we were hoping to keep it, which it did stay 100% positive. He brought out the snake, it, she was, you know, her usual self, but he did a very good job of handling her, he didn't get bit, he got her to calm down, he got to kind of show everybody that she would chill out, and she would just sit there, it's, even though she's still defensive, that she was just really just misunderstood. The snake's been through a lot, she's a special case of a, a python that's had bad experiences with people, and she just needs a little extra special care, and it's getting her out in the open there, gave a little bit of space, she, didn't, she couldn't let her just climb into a rack, I'm glad to see her go back to Garrett tomorrow, which you guys are going to see a video of us preparing the crate and, and getting her ready to go back to him because I think he he's the right person and where she should be. Speaking of Garrett, that's the, the pillow that he slept on last night and is still here in the snake room. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody that came. I'd like to thank this carpet python who essentially is the reason for the event taking place here and all these snakes for bringing us all together and having great conversations that we had today. I saw so many people having great conversations, laughing and, and loving on each other, and that's what it's about. It's about getting together as people that care to share great experiences with each other. I'd really like to thank, put a huge thanks to these animals for being as awesome as they are, is that they have the, the power to bring us folks together and, and continue to spread the things we're trying to spread, which is love and understanding. So when I first started filming, I was wondering to myself, how am I going to capture the awesomeness that is Carpet Fest when I'm trying to hang out with everybody and have these conversations and have the camera rolling and, and try to capture all these wonderful moments and conversations that are happening between people and, and hanging out with the snakes and talking all this stuff. It, it, it seemed impossible. It seemed impossible. And I did film, but I actually took the microphone off my camera knowing that I was just going to capture the moments visually and then talk about how I felt about it afterwards because I feel amazing. I feel this like renewed energy that I got from everybody and especially from my buddy Bradley who came over and asked me, he saw something in me and he said, Brian, are you, are you okay? And just such a simple gesture but it made me realize in that moment, no, I'm not, I wasn't really okay because I've been, I've been struggling with the diet thing that it, that's in eating ice cream. You guys don't know this, but every, every night after I finish editing the vlog, I've been basically sneaking off to the store, getting a pint of ice cream, sometimes too often two pints of ice cream, eating them both before going to sleep, which has been a big struggle for me, as a lot of you guys know that watch the channel. And it, 
I've been powering through it and I've still had energy to do stuff, but I know in my heart that I'm not going to be able to maintain that type of thing and be able to be the strong person I need to be for all the people that I need to be strong for, most importantly my family. And uh, it was because of this event and it was because of this channel, it's because of the animals, it's because of everything that's been spinning off of each other that, that I met Bradley and he put this power in me with his just that simple question of asking me if I was okay and talking with me about it today. That helped remind me that I do have the power to control whatever I want to and create whatever I want to and that I make my own decisions. And I say that to you guys all the time. You have the power to make the decisions you want to make to be in the places you want to be. Which is why, I, again, I want to throw a second shout out to everybody that came today and made the decision to get here and be here and share the experience with us because I think we all left here better people today. At least that's how I feel. Even if nobody else felt like they left here a better person today, I feel better for having had this day and this experience with all these people that showed up. Noah and Eli made a new friend, Aiden. My new buddy Josh, who came, he's local here in the county. And he actually sent me an email a while back asking if him and his boy could come meet us. And, and again, I, I was I had hesitation at first because somebody you don't know reaches out to you just via email because they watch the channel and they, and they want to get together. And I, I told him that right off the bat in email. I was like, you know, I'd, obviously I've got my, my reservations about just uh, meeting somebody I don't know. But it ended up working out pretty well because he was a really cool guy and, and knowing Eli and his son got on super well and they had a great time and I think it was a, a good experience for everybody involved and is going to continue to be a better experience for everybody involved. All those relationships we're building. If there's one message that I can get out to you guys from this video, the one real message that I think is important to tell is to get out there. Talk to people, share knowledge, share your experiences, spread the information, spread the love that you have for these animals, for each other, for this community, not just the community, the snake community, but the community of the earth, the people that we live here with. This is why, see I'm getting deep, I want, this is why I want to be clear that I have not, I'm not inebriated at all, I'm just feeling the energy right now, I'm really feeling it, and I, I want you guys to feel it too. And I want you guys to go out and be the best people you can be and do your best, whatever that is. It's not a direct request for you to do anything in particular other than just to be the best person you know you are. Be true to yourself and everybody around will recognize that you're being true to yourself and it will inspire others to also be true to themselves and do the things that they believe in doing and in turn make this world a better place and be the place that we want it to be for ourselves and each other. And we'll have more parties like this Carpet Fest. Many, many more. I mean, we're having another one real quick coming up in Pomona and we're gonna have more, more parties, more get togethers, more people having good times. Everybody spreading the love, spreading the love for real. The love that comes from right here, not the love that you just say the word, the real, real love. We're all gonna benefit from it. Let's do it.